so grateful. I'm so grateful to be alive in the year. You know, because this is the month of Thanksgiving. You know, we got the Thanksgiving holiday this Thursday. And I just wanted to just get on here and just talk about gratitude. You know, gratitude is a powerful, powerful weapon. It's a weapon against the enemy. You know, so in this season, God, guys, I mean, a lot of people are depressed. They're depressed about what they don't have and who, who they don't have, who's no longer around, you know? And I mean, I, I totally get that. I'll never forget when I was homeless, you know, I was homeless a few years ago and I was sitting in a shelter and it was, you know, it was a holiday. And I, you know, I come from a, a, a big family and I wanted to be with my family, but I was sitting in that shelter and depression hit me like a ton of bricks. But when I just began to think about how good God has been to me and how, you know, in spite of it all, I'm still in, I still, I'm still in my right mind, mm -hmm. that depression lifted. The depression lifted. And not only did the, the depression lift, he created a way for me to get to New York to be with my family. You know, because I just broke out in a praise. I just, I just began to thank him. I just begin to, to extend gratitude. So I'm telling you, in spite of what's going on, in spite of what's going on, what you don't have, who's not around, you know, just get, be grateful. Be grateful. Be grateful. Because it could be worse. It could be worse. Your situation could be worse. There's somebody out there that would love to trade places with you. They would love to drive the car that you have. Even though it's, it may be a hoopty. They would love to live in the home or the apartment that you live in. They would love. They would love to be married. They would love to have the spouse that you have. They would love to have your problems. So in spite of what's going on, don't forget to tell God thank you. Take, take the time and say thank you. Say, you know what, Lord? I may not be at the end of my prophetic promise, but I just want to sit here and I just want to tell you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the job that I have to go to. Thank you for this job. I know that this is not my ceiling, but Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for this business. It may not be flowing the way I would like it to, but you know what? I thank you. I thank you for my five clients. Hello. I thank you. Lord, I may not be the size that I want to be, but Lord, I thank you. I thank you for this lovely 14. I thank you for this lovely 20. I thank you for this lovely size 10. Lord, I thank you. You know, you got to be grateful. You got to be grateful. You know, because if you're faithful over little, God will make you ruler over much, right? So let's be faithful. Let's be faithful over, over what he's given us today. Let's not, you know, get in a spirit of complacency, a spirit of, you know, just... I'm sorry, guys. Just in a spirit of, in a spirit of just, just not being grateful. Let's not get there. Let's not dwell there. Let's think on the good things that God has done and what he's doing. Because we love it. He's doing great things in this season. And I don't know if you're aware, but things have turned around and things are working together for your good. For real. Things are working together for the good. And you may have lost some things, but just know that there's a lesson in the loss. Come on now. There's a blessing in the loss. Hello. Hello. Sometimes we lose, you know, we lose some things so that the real can show up. Okay? Okay. Rejoice in that. So, yeah, I just want to encourage somebody today, no matter what you're going through and what it looks like, tell God thank you. Just be grateful. Be grateful for everything that he has done. I'm telling you, if you only got one turkey leg and just a little bit of cranberry sauce and, you know, you got a little bit of cornbread, just, you know, be grateful for that. <laughs> be grateful because maybe as you thank God for the little that you have, he'll open up avenues for you to get your heart's desire. Okay. All right. So I just, I just hope you guys have a wonderful day and also on that note with the holidays near, I'm telling you guys. Don't y'all sit up at that table and stuff yourself to death. But even if you decide to, 
Well, come on now. What's the backup plan? It's time to detox. Listen, listen. Y'all need to order some Nutriverse. I got that liquid vitamins and I got the CBD detox tea. So after you guys get good and stuff, come on now. Come on now, get your products so that you can detox and you'll be well and able. You'll be well and able to move around so that you can get to Black Friday. Hello. <laughs> That's only if you do next day delivery. But anywho, y'all have a blessed day and I'll catch y'all later.